Well, a few thoughts now on what turned out to be an historic convention week in Cleveland for Donald Trump and the Republican Party. The Republican nominee last night, in my opinion, delivered a compelling 76-minute long acceptance speech. And yes, it was the longest acceptance speech in decades. It was widely and wildly applauded throughout by the delegates there at the Quicken Loans Arena in Cleveland. And Trump today following up his big performance by thanking his staff and the volunteers for an incredible four days. This was probably one of the most peaceful, one of the most beautiful, one of the most love-filled conventions in the history of conventions. And when they talk about unity, I want to tell you, that was unity. That was unity, right? And by the way, I want to thank the people of Cleveland, uh, everyone giving us uh, such a, a warm reception, uh, all of the delegates. Uh, it was just a, a terrific uh, four days. I believe the wildly successful week for the Trump campaign sets a perfect tone for what is to come, the uh, expected very tough battle between Trump and Clinton. The convention brought the demise of the anti-Trump movement, which was quickly and firmly rejected by the delegates, from a floor fight on Monday to the immediate dismissal of Senator Ted Cruz for his failure to endorse the party's nominee. The Trump children, all making a strong pitch for their father, showing a softer side as well of the nominee. His daughter, Ivanka, delivered one of the best speeches of the week, telling the country her father champions the interests of women and minorities. Like the daughter who introduced him, and in fact, like all members of the Trump family, the Republican nominee himself delivered a speech roundly applauded by the assembled delegates. He filled the arena with energy and enthusiasm and, yes, power, promising to defeat Hillary Clinton on November 8th. And in true Trump fashion, the Republican nominee delighted in one more jab at his detractors on the way out of Cleveland. No matter how much you like or dislike, no matter what your feelings, uh, whether you're the governor of Ohio, whether you're a senator from Texas, <laughs> or any of the other people that I beat so easily and so badly, you have no choice. You got to go for Trump. You know, there's some people kind of going, wow, he shouldn't have done that, and clucking about it all. Folks, that's the Republican nominee. That's who he is. And he says that's exactly what we need. And with that, onward to the general election. The nominee historically gets a bump in the polls after his convention, and Trump has been rising in the polls despite being outspent 15 to 1 by Hillary Clinton and her supporters. It looks like the Clinton campaign has every reason to be worried heading into next week's Democratic National Convention in Philadelphia, where we'll be live beginning Monday, broadcasting to you at our usual time, 7 p.m. Eastern. We hope you'll be with us.